Hey guys, it's Monday morning and we have had a really busy weekend. It started out Saturday. We had been planning a rummage sale at my parents for a while now, so that was like May 1st. And I also had my first farmer's market that I set up at. So I was going all day. My parents were doing rubber sale all day. Um, Bub was helping helping with the rummage sale. The baby was with daddy. And it, it was a busy day. But we all finally met up uh, at my parents' house to get everything put back up. And um, then uh, by the time we got home we were exhausted because it just been a really long day and previously I told you all that we might have some new animals that we are going to add to the homestead here and we are going to be getting those animals and we went to go see them this weekend. It's actually at a guy's house that my husband works with. So we went out there and visited a little while and I will show you some of the footage now. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't imagine them that tiny. when they get bigger. They get like Oh my goodness. Hot. Black and white hogs. <laughs> now, do you cut... I've seen the thing where they cut their tails off. Herds. Uh, I bombed them with a yeah. uh, castration thing. Just put it on there and they just fall off. We'll mark them with something. If we'll mark it right now, it'll just come off. Yeah. Start again. <laughs> what? Omar, are you are you a Ford girl? Are you a Chevy girl? Or are you a Toyota girl? Or Dodge? He'd get mad at me if I said anything other than Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> We, 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 we want every, you know. Yeah, it's comfortable to ride in. Everything they make now is for economy. They don't care much for about comfort. Do they? Wow. And that's safe. I had a Nissan uh, four wheel drive pickup. And it was about to be a pickup. It was before the Frontier, but it was right up next to it before they switched over to the Frontier. But it, Sissy, sissy, or fishy? I'm, I, I swear, whenever they uh, Gary sent me a message, he said, Can you work out town next week?
getting pigs. We have never had pigs. Me and my husband grew up in the city. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, we're going to be getting the pigs in about six weeks. Or however long for them to be weaned. We're getting two. Um, we're getting the little spotted one and then one of the pink ones. Um, the way we, the pink one with both pink ears is the way we, we're keeping them identified. But, um, yeah. So, we <laughs> have a lot of work to do. Of course, we've got to get, um, we are going to do a rotational grazing with them. Uh, meaning that we're going to move them along the pasture. We're going to kind of have it split between wooded and and uh, our pasture up on top of the hill. Um, any advice? <laughs> Let us know. We, uh, of course, he, the guy we're getting him from is going to help out a lot. Which is great because um, I'm sure we'll have lots of lots of questions, but we are excited. Um, of course, if you're going on this journey of being trying to be self sufficient, you'll know that one of those is your food. That's a big part of it. Being self sufficient is providing your own food, and that's what we want to try to go towards me we've discussed that if nothing else I mean we don't have we're in a, in southern Ohio so it's not like we have a forever long growing season uh, but we've discussed that if nothing else we want we should be able to um of course without uh, considering like seafood and stuff we should be able to completely provide ourselves with meat we already have a beef that we buy from we bought from a guy we still have it but uh, we're not going to be raising any cows for beef but um we do know where it came from and now we're going to try our hand at pig pork <laughs> um that's the only thing other than beef i mean we've we We've raised chickens, but we really don't eat that much chicken. We eat beef and pork. So that was a big factor in us deciding to get pigs. Um, like I said, if nothing else, then we want to be able to provide ourselves with meat for, for the year. So we're going to give it a shot. <laughs> and hopefully it'll turn out all right. Um, and now we got to get, we got to get their pen and stuff set up and also get a processing date. Uh, if you've tried to get anything processed since COVID, um, I don't know pre COVID what it was like for the processors, but, um, it's been hard to get anything in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and call and try to get a date set for the pigs. That way we we won't be scrambling to find somebody when the time comes. So yeah, that's our exciting new animal that we're going to be getting. Of course, I'll be videoing and um, taking along for the, setting up their pen and stuff. And along the way. And I hope you guys will follow along because... If you're thinking about doing this and you're like, I've never raised pigs, <laughs> we haven't either. So maybe you can learn along with us. Learn by our mistakes. What we do wrong, you don't do. <laughs> but um, we're excited. The kids are excited. The kids do understand that these will be, um, you know, providing us with meat. So... <laughs> short video i know but i just wanted to get out that out there we're excited about it and hope you guys will be excited about it too 
if you don't care to subscribe, if you haven't already, then go ahead and do that. Uh, of course, when you hit subscribe, go over to that notification bell and hit that so that you get notified when we post videos. Um, make sure you like and comment. Uh, again, might sound like a broken record, but I do. I love your guys' comments, and I will comment back. So, I guess that's all. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you know what animal we are adding to the homestead. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing the little piggies, and I will see you on the next video.